Leon Albert Bud Edney was born in Haver Hill, Massachusetts and grew up in Dedham. His parents, brother and teachers were all positive influences on his early life. While attending Northeastern University and working two jobs, he received a congressional appointment to the Naval Academy class of 1957. He thrived at the Academy, becoming Deputy Brigade Commander in the fall of 1956 and Regimental Subcommander the following spring. The Lucky Bag commented on his strong academic ability and also noted he was always counted upon as an able competitor on the intramural athletic fields and stood high in the estimation of all who knew him. After graduation, Bud served with ASW squadrons as an aviator before undertaking graduate work at Harvard. Transitioning to light attack jets in 1965, Bud completed two Vietnam tours during some of the heaviest air action of the war. In 1970, Admiral Edney was selected as a White House Fellow, serving as a Special Assistant to Secretary of Transportation John Volpe. In 1972, he returned to combat assignments as XO and CO of Attack Squadron 27. During his Vietnam tours, Bud was awarded six Distinguished Flying Crosses for, as classmate and fellow Distinguished Graduate Award recipient Admiral Bruce DeMars notes, being a valiant leader who pressed in closely to accomplish perilous missions. After the war, the Navy utilized that skill and courage in a number of key assignments. First as Commander of Air Wing 2 on USS Ranger, then as CO of USS Ponchatoula, next as Chief of Staff for the Commander Cruiser Destroyer Group 5, and finally as CO of USS Constellation. In 1981, he returned to his alma mater as the 69th Commandant of Midshipmen, serving until 1984. After serving as Commander, Carrier Group 1, he served as Assistant Deputy CNO and Director of the Office of Program Appraisal. After promotion to Vice Admiral, he was assigned as Chief of Navy Personnel. His next assignments were as Vice Chief of Naval Operations, NATO's Supreme Allied Commander Atlantic, and Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Atlantic Command. When Admiral Edney retired from active duty in 1992, his many decorations included the Defense Distinguished Service Medal, Navy Distinguished Service Medal with Gold Star, Legion of Merit with two Gold Stars, Distinguished Flying Cross with five Gold Stars, and a Bronze Star. Admiral Edney continues to be a vital part of the Naval Academy. He was the first occupant of the Academy's Distinguished Leadership Chair. He's a life member of the Alumni Association and served on the Board of Trustees. He became a trustee of the Naval Academy Foundation Athletic and Scholarship Program in 1988 and an Emeritus Trustee in 2004. In 2000, while Chairman of the Retired Officers Association, he held a key role in achieving the congressional passage of the law providing TRICARE for life for all career military and their spouses over the age of 65. In retirement, Admiral Edney has served as a senior capstone fellow for the National Defense University and a member of the Jewish Institute for National Security Affairs for over 15 years. He has also served as a director for numerous businesses and nonprofit organizations. Reflecting on his career, Admiral Edney says that seeing the POWs come home during his command of VA-27 in the final days of the Vietnam War is among his most meaningful professional accomplishments. His most meaningful personal achievement? That's easy, he says, marrying Margon nearly 53 years ago. She is the engine of our team, Bud says. That team includes daughters Mary and husband Jim, Jamie and husband Bob, and grandchildren Christy, Lainey, Katie, and Andy. Admiral Leon Albert Bud Edney, a superb leader and fearless warrior whose 5,600 flight hours, 1,000 carrier landings, and 350 combat missions only one measure of his significant contributions to his country.